Hi guys, do you want to create a floating wizard like this? And it's moving. You can even restrict this widgets at a particular area. I have restricted now this particular widgets till this particular area. And earlier it was moving continuously. Do you want to create like this? Then follow the instruction. I'll teach you how to create. Go to plugin, add new. Type here Q2W3 fix widget. You'll get a first option by max bond and it says maximum number of active downloads. Click on install now. Next click on activate. When your plugin get installed, you have an option of deactivate or edit. You don't have to do anything here. Just go to appearance. Next fix widgets. Here's the top margin, bottom margin and you have a lot of options. I'll explain you. First you go to your um, widgets option open a new tab and here i have only one primary sidebars and there i'll go down i'll choose one page sidebar i'll drop down there i'll give the title as menu sidebar you can sort it by page title order or anything you can exclude the ids or by anything you can write here next click on save this is my home page so i'll go for visit site and i'll show you this is my sidebar that's coming here as you can see everything is here blog cart and checkout everything is there and it's not moving it's fixed and it's fixed to a particular place and it's not moving anywhere so come back again to a widget option click on fix widget click on save next refresh the page as we like now when we scroll this widget is also moving along with us as moving till down now our work for this page starts what is top margin? Now we need to understand. Go back to your home page and there you can see the gap from when you scroll down from the top to your menu sidebar will be 10 pixel, right? Let's increase it to 50 pixel and click on save change. Refresh the page and you can see now there's a little bit gap here when you scroll down. It's moving but it have some gap let's increase some more make it 100 pixel and save refresh the page and when you scroll down you have some extra pixel gap so that is the top margin and next is like when you move down it's still coming down and it's like some of the product is like getting hidden product after our product we have shop and it's getting hidden inside the shop so we have option one more that is margin bottom i'll give it 100 pixel from bottom also we'll we'll get some 100 pixel margin and we'll click on save next refresh the page as now when you move down shop is not getting hidden next option is a stop id this is the id where you want your sidebars to get stopped like a zoom i want that sidebar to get stopped at this position so for that i need to open this particular page go to page all pages and there i have this inside the home page actually i'm doing i'm explaining you this long term because uh, these works is there inside the visual composure this complete website is based on the visual composure and we need to create a section id for this particular area I haven't created any section ID for this one but when you go through other website like where any builders is not getting used when the website is completely based on the HTML text they have to create a section ID for that if they have created a section ID as like I'll show you click on inspect moves down scroll down and for this text you can't find any IDs here I'll show you that explain you completely so don't hesitate or don't get scared I'll make you understand 100% this tutorial is helpful for both the guys those who are using the WordPress page builder or those who are using HTML tag for them also is quite useful so don't worry just follow the step in both the things the steps are almost same in either you're using a page builder or you're uh, working with a HTML tags here this is my builder page a complete website is built by using visual composure next you come down these all are the rows but I haven't used any uh, section just to make you understand I have created one extra section below here this is a section and inside section I have one row 
so for that section I, i'll go to edit row click on that section this is section this is section and this is row as you can see here these are the rows these are the rows and there is no section these there is no section here you, you should pre plan your website before creating that it should have some sections let's come down click on the section setting scroll down and there you will get a option of section id you can write a here anything but i am writing before and after make sure these id should be different for each sections you are creating in a website for more you can write a number also depends on you click on save change click on update go to your fix widget options and whatever id you wrote section id you just write the same id or copy paste that same id here and go to down click on save change next refresh this page as like when you are moving up this is same like earlier one and we are going down got restricted at this particular section and it's not moving below that and it's maintaining a gap of 100 pixel margin and it's maintaining a gap of 100 pixel from the bottom you can even inspect the section id by clicking on the spec sidebar here you can move up move up like come down i'm using inside the google chrome so each and every browser have different different options for my result this one for this one i have to look for the section id here here when you move up here it's selecting complete area and it's showing section id kashu before and after double click on that copy that and go back to fix widget and paste here the same id that we have used here it's before and after that same section id and let's let me take I'll take you to some other website so that the guy who, whose website is completely based on html are not using any website builder for them it will be easy for them like we'll go for wordpress.com and there we we have this one section and there this is another section this is another section for this we'll inspect the section id click on inspect and when you are like here when you move up 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 you can see here section id equals to hero and this is hero section id they are using and you need to copy the section id and paste it here if you want the site widgets to get stop at this particular location and next let's move down and for this one also you can section id benet domain and next section id segment they for each and every website there will be a section id but you need to pre think about that how the section should be divided so that your should be fixed at the particular location have so many of sections id like section id benefits other section id testimonials section id plans etc etc let's assume you want to uh, fix your uh, widgets are uh, the testimonial section id then click on testimonial copy that and see where is the testimonials these are testimonials and when you hover over this this is selecting whole complete area this is the meaning of the section id that contains complete section when you hover over that programming language make sure you can do like this also for this one and let's cancel this and go back to our fix widgets option and paste it here in the stop id then your widgets will get stop at the testimonial location and you can click on save changes this is just an example just to make you understand next option is disable width you can this is basically use a width and the height is used basically in your mobile option when the particular width when a device having a particular width then this fix widgets won't work out when the device height has a particular height in the pixel then this widgets will get disabled let's search out for the mobile how much width it have we have width equals to 480 pixel when you can write when you write 480 pixel 
it means when the 480 pixel will reach the size when the screen size of your website reach 480 pixel then this moving fix widgets option will get disabled and and it, your website will be a normal website and this widgets won't be working similarly you can set your height thank you guys thanks for watching my tutorial if you have any question comment below i'll try my best to answer all your question and if you want more videos like this then go and hit the subscribe button thank you